desperate need of some coffee. So I'm going downstairs, pre-hair and makeup and wardrobe. And um, I've just had a shower. I just had a shower, brush my teeth and put some glasses on. I feel a bit trampish. I need coffee. Girls gotta do what girls gotta do. I like the coffee downstairs too. Can't believe it's my last full day, you guys. I'll make sure this vlog is long. <laughs> So getting the usual this morning, vanilla latte, large, I think with the extra shot of espresso. <laughs> so ready to leave this room you guys I'm absolutely starving it is now 10 past 9 and I have three win buffets three free buffets to use today can I eat three buffets in one day Oh my god, I'm stuffed. Breakfast was great. I don't eat too much at the buffet, but that's the good thing about a free buffet. I don't feel like I need to stuff myself because I haven't paid for it. Um, so I just had like some bacon and a little bit of waffle and I had a Bananas Foster's crepe, which is like my favorite crepe um, with some whipped cream. Lots of coffee, lots of orange juice, and I am well and truly stuffed. So I'm just back in the room for a few minutes, maybe like half an hour. I needed to charge my phone. My phone is almost dead because like I'm constantly, even when I'm eating, I'm constantly replying to you guys uh, messages on Instagram and Twitter. Thank you so much. I do want to give a couple of shout outs today. First of all, I want to shout out to all the lovely people who left such amazing comments um, on yesterday's video. I've read every single one of those comments. I even screenshotted some and sent them to John because they're just so touching. And I didn't, I don't know, I, my intention wasn't for the vlog to be centered around the trolls. So, but I am really touched by your messages, honestly, like some of them like have me bawling my eyes out. But uh, it is my last full day here in Vegas and I am positive. I've had a great morning, a really relaxing morning. Um, I'm about to head out to the fashion show mall. <sighs> I have a feeling I'm gonna have to buy another case or another bag at least today. I think that's inevitable because I mean, come on, I haven't even been to Bath and Body Works. So yeah, shopping next and then who knows where we'll go after that.
my god you guys i need to calm the down because okay let me start from the beginning so last night i wasn't sure whether i was going to do any shopping because my baggage you know struggles of the baggage and loads of you were commenting that i should get another bag and even john suggested i go and get another bag um so i could bring because i still have to pick up the coffee from the trooper i didn't pick it up the other night and i'm going to trooper thursday tonight not to play poker i don't play poker but i'm going to go and pick the coffee up tonight so i realized that when i packed the case i didn't have room for the coffee and i ordered four bags of beans so i really needed the space so yeah i actually want to give a shout out to i want to get your name right because i followed your suggestion and um you suggested i get a bag and i want to get your name right so i want to give a shout out to Rachiru in Vegas from Instagram. Thank you so much. I didn't want to get a big suitcase because I'm actually very particular about suitcases and I we have so many spare like crappy suitcases at home in the garage from extra baggage. So I and I knew I wasn't going to fill another suitcase, so I thought I would just need like a look smaller bag. And thank you so much for your suggestion. I didn't want to spend a lot of money on it. So I got the bag that you suggested from the ABC store. I went to the one in the fashion show mall. Thank you so much. It was like $29 with tax. So that will make my life a whole lot easier. So I figured I'm there. I have the extra bag. I might as well do a bit of shopping. But before I show you my purchases of the day. <sighs> okay, I couldn't even. I went into Bath and Body Works. I couldn't even buy anything because my hands were full. I couldn't carry anymore my back was hurting from carrying the bags so they open at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning i'm gonna be there when they open so i'll make sure i'm all packed up before checkout before 10 o'clock leave here at half past nine go across the road to fashion show mall so i'm there for 10 so i can buy what i want and be back and just put it in the case before checkout so that's the plan so I'm, i was walking back from fashion show mall it's really really humid out there it looks like it's gonna rain again it's like the clouds is so thick and so gray so i'm sweating carrying my bags fighting the crowds because it's super busy i came into the wind and i was like a sweating mess just like ridiculous and who walked past me okay now i know a lot of you won't understand the significance of this I am a huge Real Housewives fan, huge. I watch every single franchise and I have my favorites. I mean, even my colleagues at work know that I, at my lunch break, I shut my office door, I download episodes that I've missed um, onto my phone and that's how I spend my lunch, literally like every single day. I could watch the old episodes over and over and over i just love it and i know people is like oh yeah it's trash whatever you can have your opinion about it but you know what i actually don't give up because i love the real house i was and it makes me happy so i'm babbling god calm down kim so i'm walking in the wind and guess who walks right by me <sighs> miss erica jane herself the pretty miss oh my god i was like totally fangirling like i was literally my mouth was like that because she was like literally just walked by me and no one either no one noticed that she was there because there was no one like looking at her and she went into one of the stores i can't remember if it was the christian dior store and she it wasn't chanel because she just came out of chanel she had a chanel bag oh my god the camera battery just died mid fangirl moment but yes that just made my trip honestly i'm so freaking just so happy like when you like i don't know i've met celebrities here in vegas before I, years and years ago i bumped into iced tea and cocoa this is like oh god at least 10 years ago and they were lovely and they, they took a photo with me and you know that was nice but this for me is like huge like all you ladies that are real housewives fans you will understand the significance of this because she is just so wonderful anywho enough babbling i've got things to do i need to go meet the trooper so i'm going to show you my purchases of the day so i didn't buy that much because i still have to be quite 
restrained because this is the bag I bought so it's not super big but I'm thinking the pillows could go in there because I don't know if I'm actually going to buy a lot for it so I bought Matthew some stuff from Abercrombie Kids some boxer shorts like a whole load of t-shirts and sweatshirts um I needed to get a new um refill of my foundation I'm cashew 3w2 in the Essilorda double wear I used to wear the Kat Von D um, exclusively but I sort of stopped using that and I went back to Essay Lauder about I would say like a year ago I'm so much happier in Essay Lauder and you know what it doesn't stain my clothing the way the Kat Von D stained my clothing so happy about that they had a promotion I got it in Macy's if you spend $45 or more you got a free gift this was $42 so the next cheapest thing I could get to take me to the total was the pump. I already just bought a new pump at home. So I got this for $12, which I thought was amazing. It's like a small um, sample size of the Advanced Night Repair, which is what I use every single night. The primer, I've not used that. And then this like foundation brush, which I've never used. And this was only 12 bucks. It says it's a $54 value. So I'm so pleased about this. And then the free gift was this bag. At first I thought, oh, I'm not too keen on this bag. It's not, I've got so many free bags. But you know what? It's actually a really good beach bag because it's wipeable inside and it's lined. And then the free gift was the bag and a whole load of products. And it's products that I actually use. The moisturizer I use in the day, the advanced night repair, like another sample in there, the nightwear mask. So these are things that I actually use. I'm super happy about that. And then I needed to go and get a new t-shirt because I actually ran out of clothes while I was here. I didn't pack much clothes because, hello, I thought it was going to be pool weather or shorts and I've not worn shorts at all. So I got a couple of t-shirts in Express. I've never bought anything in there before, but it was 40% off. It was... $29.90 and then 40% off and it's just like white tees you know you know me I love a white tee okay but this has got like detailing that's the back you know so and it's like really sloppy and big and oversized and then a black one which is very similar I should have really prepared this better to show you guys honestly so it's just that's the front it's got you know that thing in the front um, so yeah, I'm super happy with that. So I've got clean t-shirt to travel home in. And then obviously I had to go to the panty party because the panty party was on in Victoria's Secret. Seven for $28, such a good deal. And I know now that I just love the, che the cheekies. That's mine. The lace cheekies, that's me. I just got seven of those. And then I love the wireless bras. So I got two of those sorry guys you probably don't want to see this um and then if you spent 75 dollars you got a free bag another freaking free bag john's gonna be like what the hell but this is actually a cooler it's a cooler in a bag that's attached so that's really handy for the beach or picnics so i guess i'll use it one day but those are my purchases so i really have to go to bath and body works tomorrow morning <sighs> I need to calm the hell down. Honestly, I've just turned my acorn down because I need to stop sweating. I think I'm going to go and have a drink downstairs before I go meet the trooper. I'm going to get a lift there. So, see you guys later. Second shout out. I am amazed at the locations of my subscribers. Honestly, like, it's bewildering that there's people in Brazil and Belgium and Australia. So, Shout out to all the viewers all around the world. Thank you for watching.
everybody, I'm here. I finally got the coffee and I had to buy another case for it. Thanks to Keeping John in Go Gamble Blend, his favorite coffee at the moment. So I'm so happy that I came out to get it. See, I don't know what to say. What up? What up? This is the trooper. <laughs> <laughs> Hi everybody, oh, I met someone from Twitter, Gambling Lagoon. Gambling Lagoon, check me out on Twitter. Here at uh, Trooper Thursday, and uh, he's got a few days left, right? Good trip. Yes, I have four more nights. So, wishing you all the best for the rest of your trip. That's right. Nice best week I'll never remember. <laughs> That's the way it is. That's the way it is. So, nice to meet you. Yes, nice to meet you. Thanks. You're welcome. Got your coffee beans, John? I think this should last you a few weeks. So pleased I was able to pick up the Go Gamble blend from Trooper. If you guys enjoy good coffee, please, please, please try the Go Gamble blend because we are such fans of coffee and it's really good, really good. So back in the room now, came back from Westgate. I need to start packing, but before I do that, I'm going to go down to the wind buffet for dinner because I have my buffet. I didn't do the three buffets a day. I just couldn't manage it. Two is plenty. Um, I wanted to say a shout out to Chris, Chris Gambling Magoo on Twitter. It was so nice to meet you. Thank you so much for watching the videos, the vlogs, and you know what? It's just so nice to put a face to the name. I enjoy your tweets on Twitter so much and I hope you have a fantastic rest of trip. Tim, I don't think you watch my vlogs but you know what? Thank you for the coffee. I was supposed to meet him earlier in the week and didn't because I think that's the night I had a few cocktails at Bellagio. So i um, so happy that I was able to pick it up and now I have an extra bag. I don't need to worry about fitting the coffee in. Still going through all your guys' messages on Instagram. Thank you so much. You are so sweet. Also, shout out to Matt Cantor. You asked for a shout out and there's your shout out. Thank you so much for watching the vlogs. I am, you know, I shut the gambling down because it's been brutal. It's been a really, really bad, um, the gamble's been bad. So shutting the gambling down. I'm not going to do any gambling tonight. I'm just going to go and have my buffet. And uh, I think, I think after my buffet, I will have my final cocktail um, at the bar. I've really enjoyed that this trip. It's Actually, there's two things that I wanted to do this trip, two things I wanted to accomplish being on a solo trip, and that was being brave enough to go and sit at a bar and have a few drinks, and I've done that this week. I'm so happy that I did it. And also, the other thing I wanted to do was try somewhere new to eat, and I went to Javier's, and it was really, really good. I just wanted to touch on something really quickly. I've had a few comments about um, people saying that they enjoy seeing me eat at like the higher end places and they eat more like at you know casual um, eateries. I wanted to tell you that the only reason I eat at those places is because I get food and beverage credit. If I didn't get the credit I probably wouldn't eat at those places because you know they are quite pricey. Um, you know when I'm here with John and Matthew we eat where we get food and beverage credit credit but I enjoy the other places too so you know I missed like getting to um, Black Bear Diner this trip I wouldn't have gone on my own so just wanted to make sure that you know that the only reason why I eat at the M Life properties is because I have the food and beverage credit um, you know and a lot of you um, lovely ladies have been sending me messages about um, saying that I inspire you to do a solo trip go for it life is short you know what I'm saying you don't you know you might not enjoy it but you won't know until you try and this is maybe my seventh eighth solo trip maybe even ninth. this is my 19th trip to Vegas and you know I still love the city even though it kicks my ass in the casino I still love the city so much and it's the perfect place to do a solo trip so ladies if you're thinking about it do it do it. It took me a couple of trips to get into it and find my, you know, find my flow, find out what I like doing. Um, and with each solo trip, I try and do something new. This trip, it was eating somewhere new and sitting at the bar and having a, a few nice cocktails. But definitely do it if you if you're thinking about doing it. I can't recommend it highly enough. I love being able to do what I want to do when I want to do it. 
Yesterday, I didn't even pick up the camera. I didn't put my makeup on. I just chilled out. It took me a few hours to put the vlog together because the internet here at the wind has been extremely slow. Even though I'm paying for it, it's really, really slow. So yeah, you can just chill when you want and take as much time getting ready and go shopping and do it. If you're thinking of doing it, do it. I'm trying to decide cocktail first or buffet. Back in the room one final time I've had a lovely evening sorry I'm so tired I've had a lovely lovely evening lovely final last day in Vegas definitely it was my favorite day it's always like that though your last day is always the best but it's been a wonderful trip I need to get packing I'm so tired though. I really, really had plans to come back early and edit the vlog and get it up for you guys before I go home. But I mean, it's not that late. It's like almost 10 o'clock, but I'm exhausted. I'm absolutely exhausted. going home day it's gonna be so hard different this morning Earth Cafe at the Wynn I've actually always wanted to go to Earth Cafe so I'm super happy that I got to try it I'll let you know what I think of the coffee it's a bit hot though so good they actually ask you if you want it oh my god it's gonna sound manly then they actually ask you if you want it um, 
medium was strong and I asked for strong and it is strong so that's nice it's actually really good it's a honey vanilla latte I'm not ready to leave actually the first time that I've walked down to this new Morbid here at the Wynn, the new promenade, shopping promenade. I really like it. I think, I think it's definitely somewhere. If I came with John and Matthew, that John, you'd love it here. Like in the morning to come and get your coffee. There's nobody at the mall. Earth Cafe was very, very quiet. Um, there was like four, five people in there, and just even you can sit outside. So they have tables where you can sit outside but inside and there's no one around it's so peaceful I mean granted it is 7 a.m. but it's just so nice it's a good place to get a coffee so yeah John you would have loved it there this morning checkouts in an hour I'm making a last minute dash to Bath and Body Works across the road at Fashion Show Mall and I need to change Matthew's shorts for bigger size wish me luck Body works. 45 minutes till checkout. <laughs> Shout out to Chris here. Hi. At Bath and Body Works. <laughs> so I made it to Bath and Body Works, you guys. Shout out to Chris, who's been Woo! super, super helpful. <laughs> Honestly, you guys know I come to Bath and Body Works every trip. This is by far the best service I've got today. He knows I'm in a rush. He's wrapping stuff up for me. He's using the codes correctly so I can get my discount. So come and visit Chris here at the Fashion Show Mall, Bath and Body Works when you come, guys. Super service. See you soon. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's time to say goodbye. The bellman just collected my bags. It's time to check out. My flight's not for another four hours but I'm gonna go early because I want to get a head start on the editing of this vlog sad sad to go home I hate the last day I'm not ready I'm not ready to go home ready to see the boys but I'm not ready to go home so the bags are heavy it'll be interesting to see how much the big suitcase weighs when I get to the airport oh there was a lot of sweating going on packing those bags <laughs> I came here on my 19th trip to Las Vegas on a solo trip. I don't feel like I was on a solo trip. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart because I felt like you were all here with me. The messages, the comments, all the messages in the comments on Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. I felt like I was here with the biggest group of friends wishing me well and wanting me to win even though I lost but you all wanted me to have a good time and that's all that matters Vegas you kicked my ass yet again <sighs> but I still love you and you've just given me so many memories that will last for a lifetime Life is so short, you never know what's around the corner. So if you're thinking about taking a solo trip, I suggest you do. It is so liberating and so enjoyable. I can't stress enough how appreciative and thankful I am that you joined me on this trip. I wish you all well for the future. I don't know when I'll be back to Vegas. Stay tuned, you never know, I might just pop up on your social media ready to go from the airport again. So once again, thank you guys, and may I ask you a big, big favor, please, please, please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the vlogs. I love you all, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.